Um, Skip, thanks for your time. First of all, just how are you? How's pre-season been for you so far? Yeah, I'm really good, thanks, mate. Um, yeah, pre-season's been, been good. It's been tough uh, in, in you know the tough conditions that we did. We did a couple of days in the snow, so which was nice. But <laughs> yeah, pretty tough on the, the overseas boys. But yeah, we, we just got over here in Portugal, which is great. And uh, yeah, the pitch is uh, top class and the facilities are great as well. So, you know, we're really, really privileged to be here. And you must have been to some nice places in your very successful career, but how nice is it to be out here in Portugal for some warm weather training? Yeah, that's it. Well, we got here yesterday and then you know, it, was, it was a little bit of rain, but we knew that the next morning the sun would be popping out and it's, it, you know, it's not let us down. So, yeah, it's, it's good to get out here. Obviously, we wanted to get some of our uh, main objectives done uh, through the pre-season and obviously an opportunity to come here in a world-class uh, world place. Uh, to help us uh, prepare obviously for the season so um, yeah really grateful for that uh, the boys are enjoying it and you know long may that continue over the next five days. Can you just try and describe what the benefits of a, a trip like this are I suppose both in terms of physicality but also bonding between teammates? I think it's good to spend a lot of time obviously you do you spend a lot of time in the in the pre-season with the boys but get away from everything else you know it's uh, getting everyone here together it's, it's really important to to continue that that relationship with the with, with your teammates and, and, and enjoy each other's company uh, but obviously working hard and on the training ground because we know it's it's not too far away now to, to the season start so I know a lot of the clubs have done it through for, for, for the pre-season so yeah it's something that we wanted to do uh, we, we've done everything that we can to get here and we you know the club have worked hard to do that and you know the boys are really enjoying it here so you know Enjoy the rest of the, uh, the camp, the boys. And yet another dream team inclusion for yourself last year. What are the secrets to maintaining that sort of consistency, consistency virtually throughout your entire career? Mate, it's just about working hard. It's, um, you know, you, uh, trying to instill a, a, a tough work ethic and always work on my game. It's, it's something that I've really uh, bedded into ever since I went pro. I know that working hard will get you to some, some great places and, and I've been fortunate and uh, very lucky to be part of uh, uh, some great teams and uh, some great clubs as well. So, you know, here we've got something special going on here. Uh, and, you know, obviously the squad's small at the minute. Uh, hopefully we can get a couple more additions, which would be nice. But at the same time, we've got a really good group here that can uh, achieve a lot of success, uh, albeit with a, with a small squad. But we can make any excuses in the world. Um, you know, for us, it's about the goal and it's winning, it's winning trophies and uh, doing well for, for the club and making sure that the club is represented at the, at the top level. And I guess in 2024 you're just hungry for even more? That's it, it's every, every, every different season is uh, it's a new journey so you know, last, last year was uh, an up and down journey for us, uh, we really got into a really good start and we got on a roll a little bit and then we, we struggled in the end in, in terms of a good run of games where we, we, we just couldn't get the results. Um, made a push for the playoffs near the end, it just showed that uh, you know, resilience and, and, and toughness to, to get almost get there, uh, almost get to the playoffs. But at the same time we want to go better. Uh, we, knew we got to the semi-final a couple of years ago, um, but like I say it's a new journey and um, all of us have all got one common goal and you know, for us it's about winning and uh, what we've got to do on the field, off the field that will you know, uh, determine that. So I've been working as hard as I can, uh, trying to push the boys as, as hard as I can, set the standards and uh, get them ready for, for a big season. And just finally a word on some of the new lads here, how are they settling into the group? Yeah, really good. Yeah, we've got a couple of young guys, uh, obviously Kai and uh, Matty Foster uh, that have come in, they've really ripped in. Uh, obviously Nene as well, he's been, he's been, he's been class for us. Uh, he's, a great, he's a great character for the, for the group and uh, yeah, he's um, really enjoying his, his time here, obviously. A little bit of snow, but he's, he's happy that the sun's out now. So, um, yeah, you know, all the new boys have come in. Obviously, Joe Mellor, I've, known, I've known Joe for, for a long time as well. Uh, played with him in uh, our amateur days at Latchford. So uh, we've got some memories of catching up there. And obviously, we've had a, both had great journeys in our, in our careers as well. So, you know, uh, a couple more as well that have, that have ripped in as well, like a shells and... Hey, lads. Oh, what a... Hey, can you give us a lift? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it, Skip. Thanks for your time, mate. Yeah, I know, mate. Cheers.